got a little email that said, Harley, can you please explain how Robbie McEwen beat you in a uh, little Strava sprint there? Let's check out what this person's talking about. So we're in the, in the mail here, got a little reminder from Strava. Uh-oh, Robbie McEwen just stole your KOM. You just lost your KOM. And up. So let's check out Robbie McEwen's little time here, shall we? Strava's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. All you need is a Garmin. So we got a little sprint here, a little climb. You can see the uh, terrain there. Let's have a look here. Okay, so we got Robbie McEwen. 43 seconds and uh, 45 seconds for myself. So myself and Robbie McEwen, anyone that's to go under sub 50 right now, Robbie McEwen's in some uh, good shape at the moment. He just come up for a win at a Noosa Criterium, I'm pretty sure. And so let's see if I still got my other little uh, KOMs around the, around the place. Let's check out the results. Yeah, here we go. So Julian Ryder in front of Bobby McEwen still. Got that one on him. But I'm not too impressed, I'm not too happy about losing my KOM to Robbie. I'm not too happy about that at all. I'm going to have to get out there and... Uh, Get out there and do some training. Get out there and do some training. So for the viewers out there who don't really follow cycling that much, who don't know Robbie McEwen, Bob McEwen's uh, one of the most world's famous cycling sprinters on the planet, and he's he's in some form at the moment. He just got he's got third in Japan against some pro tour riders, so he's uh, definitely still in shape. Just got a win in the Noosa Criterium against uh, a lot of good riders in Australia, so definitely on form. That's how you know your diet's working for you. When Strava gives you an email saying your KOM just got stolen by one of the world's best sprinters. How do you like that? I don't like that at all. I'm going to have to get out here on the bike and uh, muscle up some more Strava KOMs. So, Robbie, vegan boys after you. Strava is such a fun website, such a fun app. If you're not already on Strava, get on Strava. Get on Strava. It's free. I'll post my little link down below. You can follow me. You can see exactly what training I do. I'm obviously not doing enough if Robbie McEwen's beat me. And uh, so I'm going to have to get out there, get off my butt, and uh, put the power down, man. Put the power down. I'm more of a climber than a sprinter, but no excuses. Got to get out there and have fun. Got to push it. Test yourself. Here's a climb I did today. Here's a climb I did today. It's called, called the Big Wing Strength of Effort in Queensland. And uh, Strava's really good fun. You can... You can change the title, whatever you want to do. So it's, it's really good fun. You can trash talk your mates. I'd definitely rate it. Anyway, so let's get to the, the numbers and stats. You can see here, I've got the fifth fastest time day to day, average speed. Heart rate, so you can tell my heart rate today should have been around 184, 183 for this climb. I was just doing a big wing effort, so a strength effort. I did a 168 average, and my time, 15.52. Uh, Robbie McEwen, he's got a 15.32. And Jared Rowney, he's got the K. I can beat Jared in the climbs. Uh, he's got a 20 K an hour, 176, so it looks like he's pushing it. But my heart rate, 168 indicates so I'm going easy. Doing a strength effort in the big wing. I'll have to get off my ass and uh, try and smash out this KOM this week sometime. 15.52, I reckon I could get, you know, I could definitely go under 15. But uh, I might have to do a bit more than 100 kilometers a week training at the moment. <laughs> we'll see, we'll give it a whirl. We'll give it a whirl, get those, uh, those fruits and vestiges. So there you go, that's the Duran Rider. Another handy thing is you can do a, com a comparison. And uh, you can do also performance. You can look at my heart rate here. So you can see my heart rate very low, you know, 159. My max heart rate is 194 for those who are wondering that. So my percentage for my max heart rate is very low. It's at 170s. So I'm just doing a strength effort in the big wing here. Pushing along, 170s, low 170s. This is my uh, marathon, half marathon pace. So I can hold 170 for about three hours. So definitely I was going easy today. Still pushing in the big ring, still hurt a bit, and then yeah, I just give it a kick. So average heart rate, quite low. Didn't have the power meter on today, so a bit of concealing not to, but that's power meter is definitely a good idea to have. I normally have it on, but today I didn't. So you can see my time here. 
seven minutes in, eight minutes in, I'm 13 seconds behind the leader. So it gives you a good indication of where you're at, or where you're ahead and behind, so you can pace yourself accordingly. So it's a great, great website to get onto, very easy to manage once you understand it, and a lot of fun, a lot of fun. You can go to Explore, find little KOMs in your area. So there's a quite a lot, quite a lot. It's a good, it's a great fun website, really good fun. Steep Street, I like the name of that one. Let's have a look at that. So Duran Rider, he's got the King of the Mountain there. That's quite a uh, quite a challenging one. I, I don't think Robbie McEwen's going to beat that one. That's 28 seconds. That's pretty quick. I'd like to see Robbie beat that. That's 28 seconds. That's a steep fucking hill, man. That's steep. So it is short, but it's steep. And so it's a great new website, Strava. Click on my KOMs. So these are all the climbs where I'm the fastest. Duran Rider number one, top of the hill. So I've got a few pages. How many pages have I got? I'm not even sure anymore. So these are all the climbs where I'm leading. So I've got five, about just on five pages of a running and cycling fastest person on that little segment there. So it's a great fun, great fun website. I highly recommend it. I always find it amusing when people say, Harley, you're a vegan, diet's deficient. It's like, well, do you get emails from Strava saying that Robbie McEwen's taking your KOM? Do you get emails from Strava saying professional cyclists have beat your KOM? I don't know. I don't think so. So when people ask me, Harley, where do you get your protein from? I'm like, how many Strava KOMs have you got? And they look at me like, oh, what's, what's Strava? <laughs> it's all about having a bit of fun, a bit of trash talk, and we'll see you out on the road. There's all a bit of fun and games. Have the fuck up. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Strava. I'll post a link down below. Post your comments and questions down below. No, it's not about taking it too seriously. It's just a bit of fun. I don't, I don't take it too seriously, Strava. You know, like it's just, I just, you know, turn my garment on and go for it. I don't, I don't, I don't take it seriously. Like, if I lose a KOM, like, it's, it is what it is. You know, I'm no big deal, man. No big deal. So, thanks for watching. See you guys soon. I'm going to be